You, you could have been a baseball superstar. I mean, you were a baseball star, but baseball's loss was country's gain. Is that what happened, Charlie? I'm sort of. I, I, I don't know about being a superstar, but I, I, and I'm not using this as an excuse, but I cracked my elbow. I was a pitcher outfielder, and uh, I, I took my med my mentor, what I was going to try to beat was uh, when you say Babe Ruth hit 714 home runs, so I'm picking cotton alongside my dad, and uh, I see Jackie Robinson go to the major leagues. I said, here's my chance to get out of these cotton fields picking this cotton. And, and I'm going to go, and I'll break all the records then sit in you, and by the time I'm 35 or 36, then I'd grab the microphone, see? Yeah. That's what I had it all planned like that. But it didn't work out that way, but I'm still uh, involved because I was right here uh, in this city when I got a call from uh, a man that has seven no-hitters and seven one-hitters and now Nolan Ryan. And uh, John, my, my guy that we've been together 36 years, John Danes, and he says, Nolan Ryan's trying to get in touch with you. So they're getting ready to buy the Texas Rangers and they thought maybe you might want to be in, interested in being uh, in that group to buy them. I said, I believe I'm interested. So I'm, 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 I'm still involved. I didn't get a chance to, and when they say who hit the most home runs, Babe Ruth, not Charlie Pride, yeah. not, 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 not Babe Ruth, Charlie Pride, who, who was the last uh, uh, 400 hitter, not Ted Williams, Charlie Pride. That was my yeah, dream. dream to do, you see. And so, but now I'm part owner of the Texas Rangers, and the people come up, you part owner of the Texas Rangers? I said, yeah, I've got a little piece. I said, well, yeah, I explained it. I said, we got two billionaires in us little folks.